Michael Van Gerwen. That was in a quarter final as well. And Van Gerwen averaged 107. 140. Aspinall himself averaged almost 102 in a 6 5 defeat. He got matched darts, didn't he? And he had matched darts as well. But 49. The signs are encouraging for Aspinall, of course, on that basis. But Van Gerwen. Well, he doesn't really need omens, does he? Let's face it. Well, Van Gerwen has got a good record against most players. But you look at their two meetings this year. One of them was that one where Nathan had darts to beat him in mist. And the other one, he gave him an absolute hiding. 99. The beat him 6-1 on one of the live stream boards. You might have watched it on PDC TV. But Nathan was absolutely spectacular. Just did not miss when it came to the end of legs. 125. And he's got a great chance here to break the throw and go into the lead. Yeah, and he didn't miss a great deal at the end of legs in his match 96. against Ryan Joyce yesterday. Oh, six out of 16. nine on his doubles. Very impressive. A 108 average yesterday for Aspinall. And he's looking at tops now for a break of throw and a 1-0 lead against the world number one. Just inside for double 10. 40. Michael, you require 92. And the opportunity missed. goes, yeah. Van Gerwen, can he step in and clean up here? Looks as though he may well do. Double 16 for double eights. Mm, well. 84. Did not like Nathan, that one you bit. require 20. One suitably attired Van Gerwen fan there. Step to the left-hand side of Not the hockey score. for Aspinall. Michael, you require eight. And Van Gerwen gets away with it once again. Or does he? Nerdy times for MVG. Six. And you don't see this often. Nathan, you oh, require first leg of the day. 20. On what looks to be one of the strongest lineups we've ever seen in the European Tour. And we've got the world number one stuck in a madhouse. And Nathan Aspinall, UK Open champion, has missed six stars at double. He's on the first Hits leg. It's the seventh. Nathan breaks the throw. A 20 dart leg, break of throw against Michael first. Van Gerwen. That doesn't happen Game too on. often either. Van Gerwen very rarely hands over opportunities like that, and so many of them, but Aspinall eventually gets the job done. He made heavy 60. weather of that. But it's a good start for the Asp. 97. Aspinall was the 11 to 4 outsider to win this match. Van Gerwen, the Overwhelming odds on favourite at 7 to 2 on. 80. And he was at the start of play the overwhelming favourite to win the title as well. Title number four in Gibraltar he's looking for this weekend. 94. Well, these two, according to going on the amount of money staked on people to win the World Championship, these two have had more money put on by punters at Ladbrokes than anybody else. That's really interesting. 39. Van Gerwen, you always expect it. He'll be the favourite to win the title. It'll probably be about even 81. money by the time it goes off, depending on what happens over the next couple of months. But Nathan Aspinall, a lot of people have been watching him this year and they like what they see. And they will like this if you've got a few quid on the Asp to become world champion. Yeah, it's a long-term bet, certainly. But it may well pay dividends. But 59. right here, right now, Nathan Aspinall, 42. only one thing on his mind. And it's 10 for double 16 for a 2 0 lead against MVG. Ten. And once again, the finishing one, is just a little bit jittery from Nathan Aspinall. But he will get another chance. 59. Nathan, you require 32. Yeah, Van Gerwen did not like that one bit, judging by that reaction. No score. Absolute mare Michael, on the doubles here, Nathan Aspinall. He's been on 14 darters in both legs. 79. And he might win them both in about 20. Nathan, you require Yeah, it 32. was a 20 dart break of throat. And potentially, well, he'd like a 19 darter here just to settle him down. I think he would love to take this one at the first time of asking. And he does. Secondly, Nathan Aspinall. And Michael the 20 dart break is followed by a 19 dart hold. Very difficult to know what to put this down to, whether it's being first up, whether it's the heat, whether it's, I don't know, just very uncharacteristic from both. 100. Why well, has everybody been pretty solid leading up to it? You know, if he 
hitting the double first dart in both legs. He's averaging 107, 108, which is what he averaged yesterday when he was superb against Ryan Joyce. Michael Van Gerwen was very, very good against Jose de Sousa. He needed to be as well. Yeah. 100. Came from 3 1 down. Could have been 4 0 or 4 1 down. But managed to win it 6 3 with a 103 and a half average. 94. I mean, that's been all finishing in the closing stages as well. He rounded off with a 12 data and an 11 data back to back. He left himself on 44 after 16, nine darts in both legs 9 and 10. His approach play was strong. His finishing was good as well. 57. Just flat from MVG at the minute. 123. Gives him a little sniff of a chance, the ass. Double 18. 74. The misses just keep on coming. Well, this would be brutal if this were to go. Needs to find that treble 20, and he does for double 19. Oh. The third leg. Well, his finishing's okay now. Took an eternity to find double 16 Perfect. earlier in the match, but Nathan no problem whatsoever first. with double 19 there Game for Nathan off. Aspinall. And just look at that scoreline. Aspinall leading by three legs to nil. Oh, just leave that one, Nathan. None of the others are working for double 19. He's under percent, but three out of 14 on the doubles for Nathan Aspinall is enough for a 3-0 lead no against I'm the world number one, who is zero for seven on the outer ring. And 140. This is potentially very encouraging for all those backers who've got on Aspinall for the world championship. Maybe a little bit premature, 84. but this is encouraging for them. Aspinall to win. I don't know if that was a bold prediction at the start of this or whether that's been hastily scribbled over the last three legs. I'm disappointed with the lack of puns on these balls. I was, I was going to do my thing where I read that really slowly. 75. Just to <laughs> confirm to myself that there is no pun there, but I didn't fall into that trap again, Dan. I didn't want to give you any. Ah, and bullets to work with. 71. Making you 146. Two trouble 19s. There's one of them. Great guide. Oh, he'll be frustrated not to be getting a dart for the well, leg, but he 30, does leave like himself very nicely placed. It's on. It's on. Oh, Michael Van Gerwen. It was nearly six perfect darts in a row. One seven, one one four nine out. But again, he misses the double. Again, Aspinall gets a chance. This is for four nil. Got it. I just feel there, had he missed that, Van Gerwen would have stepped in and that would have been the platform on which to build. But Van Gerwen is still looking for that platform. A missed dart at double 16 for a 149 checkout would have put a bit of fire in his belly. But he's got nothing to work with right now. And he's very much on the back foot here and he's playing catch up immensely. 4 0 down. Real story in the making to start things off here in Gibraltar on day three. And Aspinall is stepping on the throat of Van Gerwen with a sub 80 to start things off in leg five. Look, they first met back in 2015. That was before Nathan. That was when his first incarnation on the tour, when he wasn't doing enough. He dropped off the tour. Oh, four perfect darts. He is a much different player now. And this is, they've only met this year since then. They won one meeting in 2015, two meetings this year. This is their third. Nathan has convincingly won one playing well. He missed match darts in a cracker in the other, and he is giving him a schooling here. Nathan Aspinall has got Van Gerwen's number this year, pretty much. 140, 170. Well, this would just be typical of MVG, but he's not going to find the 170. And Aspinall, well, he's on course here for an 11 dart break of throw. He had a 20 dart break to start things off, and he's on the cards now. And it's a 12 dart break. And Aspinall. Just finds himself in this unbelievable situation where he needs one leg to win 6-0 against MVG. We've not had a whitewash this weekend apart from Gerwin Price last night against David Francis. But this would be just absolutely sensational. Three legs in 42 darts. That's that 107 average he was throwing yesterday. The first two legs weren't good. But MVG has found it impossible to hit a double. And if you don't do that, you lose. 59. Could we be seeing the best player on the planet 
whitewashed in the opening game of the day. 141. Well, five perfect darts out of six there for MVG. Ninety-six. One hundred and forty. Tops left after nine. A spectacular leg for the world champion. Is it too little, too late for the number one seed and the three-time defending champion here at the Gibraltar Darts Trophy? Well, there's one on the ball, and it's a break of throw as well. Seventh leg, Michael Dutroux first. Game on. And he has avoided the whitewash on the European Tour. He did win five legs on the spin to beat Jose de Sousa. One hundred. And de Sousa was playing fabulous darts yesterday. 131. But Nathan knows what it's like to beat Van Gogh. He knows what it's like to beat him 6-1. 174. Wow. Van Gogh has... And the scoring's been all right all game. It's just the finishing has been abysmal from both of them. 57. Look at that. One out of nine. Five out of 19. It's 22 dimes of double missed. We've only had six legs. Yeah, it's the sort of situation that will have these statisticians rifling through the record books. 60. Michael Lecoin, 130. Beautiful. One of the seventh leg, Michael Van Gogh. Ten data, twelve data. Michael Van Gerwen has arrived. Unfortunately, the world number one decided to wait five legs before doing so. One hundred. Yeah, there's still a heartbeat here for Michael Van Gerwen. He's found his pulse once again. Aspinall though, with the throw, and he's got a slender advantage already just do with some big visits. The big visits have dried up a little bit here for Nathan Aspinall. 57, 60, a ton to start off here. 43. And a 43, and you just fear that it may just be drying up here for Aspinall a little bit. Question is, though, whether he's got too much in hand. 100. 100. Nervous times for Van Gogh and fans. But it could get nervous no, for the Asp in this one. Because there's no question that Van Gerwen has got the bit between his teeth. Ooh. 76. Uh, was he caught in two mines there? I think you just got it. Or was it a slip? I think you got an awkward deflection, so he's gone a, a long way away from that travel. Now then, this might put the cat amongst the pigeons. 140. The finishing line is in sight. Van Gerwen is breathing down his neck. Yeah, Dutch contingent, MVG fans looking on very anxiously indeed, but this is encouraging for Nathan Aspinall. He's looking at that big red button and he finds the green bed instead. Michael, you're and Van Gerwen 90. may well live to fight another day here. What route does he go? Is it bull tops? Now it's 15s. Now it's bull. Oh, Michael Game Van Gerwen behaves. Stays alive in this Michael one. Breaks the Michael throw again. Game on. Well, five what a response. Nil becomes 5-3. A 10 dart break, a 130 check out for 5-2, and a ball 100. finish for a 90 check out to make it 5-3. This is, well, we thought we had one story in the making. We've now got another story very much in the making here as well. Nathan mismatched darts to beat MVG earlier on this year on the Euro Tour. He has missed a match dart here. Will he get any more? 84. He managed to sprint for the line against Ryan Joyce yesterday. Finished with two legs, one in 23 darts. He only needs to find one more world-class leg. 81. Yeah, in 81 he knows that might not be enough. Because Van Gogh and just looks to be in the mood once again, doesn't he? And he's left himself a very manageable 137. It's all about what Aspinall can do here in terms of the pressure he can apply. 
And he's got a ton 40, and that may well do for Aspinall, but it's all about the finishing if he gets the chance. He took out 100 earlier. 97. He takes it out here for an 11 or 12 data. It is the world-class leg that finally gets him over the line. Can he stop this Van Gerwen comeback? He might. More match darts. And the Aspinall's done it! He beats Van Gerwen on a big stage for the first time in his career. And the second victory over MV.